What's going on, comrades? This is Supreme Leader Aaron here, and today for Outside the Box, I've been waiting a long time for this. I ordered this way back in February, and I saw it advertised on Facebook first. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this thing has been like on my to it's been on my want list for a little bit. And I finally snagged the first one. I'm getting them. In I'm getting all four, so I'm ho I'm really excited about this. But we got the Gundam Life Crate. Guys, I'm telling you, y'all know me to know. If y'all know me well enough, you know I'm a huge fan of Gundam. Like, I build Gunpla for crying out loud. So I was excited about this. I know there's no Gunpla in this, from what I've been told, and from what I've saw, what I saw in someone's review. But I'm super excited because Gundam, usually life crates contain a lot of things other than like merch. So I'm super excited to get this out of the box. In fact, I'm gonna hold it on my knee so that I can just give you the effect of opening it. love this so this is the Gundam wing life crate and in this in this crate oh, it's so cool there are some pretty uh, there's some pretty cool items in this there is the wing Gundam t-shirt the wing Gundam zero sculpted mug a Gundam planning color sheets notepad Wing Gundam Dad Cap, Gundam Sandrock Shield Bottle Opener, and, a, and an Oz Pen in here. So first off, I want to go ahead and pull the big boy to stare at me in the face right now, and that is the Wing Zero Sculpted Mug. Now right off the rip, that box looks pretty cool. Where is my, here's my little knife. Everybody else has like big hulking knives. I've got a little Texas, a little Arkansas toothpick here. Right, or Texas Toothpick. I can't remember what they call that. No, Texas Toothpick is the huge one. Okay, so right off the rip, this thing's protected with a little bit of a... A lot of sty styrofoam, and I am not a fan of styrofoam. Because it gets everywhere. But let's go ahead and get the mug out of its packaging here. It is a ceramic mug. It, it's just covered, and that, like I said, the packaging is... Not my favorite, but I do love the way this looks. It's a tiny, tiny handle on a mug, though. Like I can, I can only put a finger there. Normally, I can get like two fingers in the mug. So let's go ahead and get the let's go ahead and get the head together here, and I will show this off in its entirety. That is kind of loose on there, which I mean, it's ceramic. I I don't expect it to seal tight, but look at the artwork in that. That is really nice. And just turning it around so you can kind of see everything. It's got the green, the green from the cameras on the uh, head there. Get that styrofoam out of the way. Uh, I love the smell of like new ceramic stuff. It, it just, it, I love the smell of new things, and that just smells so good. Um, I love the detail in it. You can tell it's a ceramic mug. You can tell it's not like, you know, mass produced. Ceram I mean, it's a mass-produced, but it's not like a terribly mass-produced ceramic mug. And I feel like that needs to go on the uh, go somewhere where it can be enjoyed in viewing while I stream. And so I'm gonna have to find somewhere to put that. Maybe up here for right now till I can find somewhere better. All right. So next up, I want to show off this cap. Now I'm a fan of hats. I, I always have a collection of hats. And I love that they kind of put a protector in there. But this hat, let's put that on. That is a really comfortable hat. And I can never get hats like perfectly adjusted. But look at this. This looks really nice. Oh, my microphone was pointed the wrong way. I'm hoping y'all could hear me pretty well. But it's not bad. I like the way this looks. In fact, I'm going to bring it closer so uh, y'all can get a good view of that. And that's the actual hat there. So on the back it has Gundam Wing. So, you know, if I want to turn it backwards and like Kevin Smith. I can look like Kevin Smith. But that's that's comfortable. I like that. I'm not a big fan of white hats, but that's still pretty cool. Alright. The t-shirt. Now, I love a good t-shirt. And that looks really cool. It's got Wing Gundam floating. I think. No, Wing Gundam. Yeah, Wing Gundam's kind of floating, and I'm going to try to hold it up so you can see the artwork on it. 
But that is the Wing Gundam shirt. And it's actually got a schematic in the back of how it's supposed to, how it looks in flight mode. So I'll hold that up again so y'all can kind of see it. My mic is in the way. But that looks really cool. I like that. That is super awesome. What else do we have here? We have the Sandrock bottle opener. Now, I, Sandrock is one of my, it's not my favorite. It's not even like my top three. Because... But I mean, I, I love the design of Sandrock. It's just, I don't know. I, I just never got into Sandrock. I loved Death Scythe a lot. And I loved Heavy Arms a lot. Wing was cool. I liked Wing. Wing was like my number two. It, it always went Death Scythe, Wing, Heavy Arms. And I guess just because I kind of liked the pilots more than I did anything else. But there, here is the Sandrock bottle opener. And it feels... It's heavy. I love a heavy bottle opener. I could definitely use this on the set. Especially, like, whenever I have... You know, whenever we do, like... Not... I won't say, like, drinking streams. But, you know, if I want, like, a bottled drink and I don't have a bottle opener. Or if I've got, like, fancy sodas from around the world. Sorry, my ear was itching on, like, right here. And I had to just, like, hit it. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I l okay, so next up, we have the... Order of the Zodiac Pen, also known as, or Organization of the Zodiac Pen, also known as Oz. Fun fact, that was what Oz stood for. And I love the look of that pen. I'm going to leave it on the cardboard. I love, I love enamel pens, and this is just beautiful, guys. Bring that a little closer so y'all can get a good view of that, and just, you can see my fingerprints on it already. But that's just, it's a beautiful looking pen. And I think that would go good on like a cosplay of like an, of an Oz member. Like not even being like, like legit being like a, a Zaku, not a Zaku, a Leo pilot or a uh, Taurus pilot or something like that. You know, get a, get a costume of like one of the military, all, all, mil, you know, military outfits. Because that's really what Oz, Oz had some of the coolest looking military outfits in like anime. Alright, so the final thing we have here is the Gundam Mobile Suit Gundam Gunpla Mobile Suit Gundam Deco Design Plan Sheets. So, say you want to do a custom design for your Gundam. This is really cool, and I love this. You can go through and put in notes, and it's got all of the suits from Gundam Wing. All of the main, you know, all of the mains. All the Gundams, basically. I don't see anything here that's screaming like tall geese. Yeah, it just goes through the five Gundams. So, just to kind of show you, I'll pull up the first page here. You've got Wing. And I'm hoping my light will kind of allow for some detail there. But look at the detail in that, guys. That's super awesome looking. I, I, I love that. And you can sit there and, like, color code and plan out your gun plot and all that. Some really cool stuff. Some really cool stuff there. Um... Oh, cool. You can learn about what's in your crate by going to Instagram, but... Again, this was not bad. It's a series of four, so this is crate number one for me. Uh, crate two is supposed to be double O. So I'm excited about that double O series, because I love... the I love the newer Gundam stuff. It's not, it's not as big as, like, Gundam Wing was to me, or, you know, like... G Gundam, or... Other series in that... You know, other... Other series in, in the... Uh, Gundam line, but I will say by far my favorite thing out of this was was the pen and the shirt. I love pens and shirts. The, the mug is good too, but I I'm always worried I'm gonna break a ceramic mug. Like I always have clumsy. I'm always clumsy, so you know there's always, there's gonna be a time where this mug may not exist anymore because of my clumsiness. But it's not a bad haul. That it's not bad. And I mean all the items in there, you prob I probably paid close to what you would pay for like the shirt and the mug and the cap and maybe maybe not okay maybe not even that maybe like the shirt this bottle opener and the mug would probably be all worth what I paid for this so I mean it's not a it's not cheap it's not expensive it's kind of right there in between for like collectors like me who love Gundam stuff uh, again the only the only negative thing I could say about this is paying for this. I could have bought a Gundam kit, but 
I love the items in it. So, you know, it, it's, it's not terrible. But, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of today's unboxing or what you'd like to see me unbox next. Y'all can click on that bell icon because that's going to keep you up to date with what we're doing, when we're doing it, and all that jazz. Check the links in the description for all of my wonderful friends and their awesome works, as well as links to our merch shop where you can support the channel. And it's uh, fine content with some fine products. Again, thank y'all so much for watching. Much love. And das Vidanya.